Welcome to Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I am Deb here with your general intuitive messages. I hope y'all doing well out there and I hope that this reading finds you safe. So we're going to have to get started to check out the timestamps, please. Look in the description box. Also in the description box, you'll find information on how to book with me if you would like a personal reading. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <music> Twelfth house, the house of self undoing. This is associated with spirituality, privacy, reflection, dreams, daydreaming, visions, illusions. Also, this has something to do with the governing of the physical, the spiritual, and mental entrapment or imprisonment. Also, self imprisonment. This can also have something to do with hospice, hospitals, islands, prisons. So like physical places as well. Interesting. Hmm. This house is the home to secret enemies, saviors, victims, martyrs, and illusions. Very deep. Aquarius, the water bearers. And also, this is the 11th sign of the zodiac, third, third air sign. Aquarius associates with loyalty, inventiveness, independence, originality, forward-looking, futuristic. Ah, interesting. And I feel like this Aquarius um, energy that I'm getting that's coming in this 12th house it's going to be like, I feel like the cards are going to talk about some uh, something that is different, that's tr transitioning. It could be like a lot of spiritual things that's happening too. Here we go. We got Neptune. This is kind of what I was feeling. That's crazy. So, you know, Neptune symbolizes the collective unconscious and the victim unconscious. So here goes that word victim again. Also, Neptune is associated with um, being connected to spiritual discipline or meditation because it can associate with overindulgence and sex alcohol or drugs <clears throat> also it's daydreaming or illusion energy as well so i feel like we're gonna be fighting these subconscious and conscious thoughts that are happening whoever i'm talking to maybe that's what this reading is going to be about the subconscious and the conscious and not putting yourself in this victim mentality allowing yourself to see above that let's get some cards y'all <music> What's the news? Right away, I see the star card. Here it is right here. And the star card associates with healing. Also, purpose, Aquarius energy. So that's real interesting because we just seen that on the dice, y'all. Let's keep going. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody is an emotion. Somebody is taking their emotions in a way of maturing them. Is what I'm feeling, or at least they're looking for self love within themselves. Ooh, and that's attracting a lover, Gemini energy. Nice. Let's get some cards out. Got the Ten of Wands. So this is that victim mentality energy that we've seen on the dice. Heaviness, feeling burdened, fe feeling weighed down, feeling like the world is on your shoulders. The world is against you at times and that you have to do everything alone. Judgment. There's judgment being called on that. So now... The universe is stepping in. Universal law is being a factor at this moment. Seven of this. So whatever you gave is what you're going to get. This is this has something to do with investments, time, energy and effort that has already been placed. And someone now is looking for a harvest to come in. 
So, so judgment is happening so that who is due what will receive their just due. Six of Wands. I feel like there's going to be some celebration that's going to occur for some people. They're going to feel like their accomplishments. It's almost like this. I'm feeling like self-congratulations. Proud of yourself. The moon. So the moon is a lot of different things, y'all. You know, the moon has a light and a dark side. Also, the moon sometimes indicates illusions or secrets, things that have to be discovered, things that have not been discovered yet. So I'm feeling this energy that there's some things that are going on behind the scenes that are manifesting in your life. For some people, that's a good thing. For some people, maybe not so much, but let's keep going. Ooh, Will of Fortune. So whoever I'm talking to, it's like your finances are possibly going to continue to keep on growing. Your future is looking bright. You got the Midas touch. Might be coming in contact with someone on your journey that's going to help bring things in for you as well. Because I keep seeing in these cards, there's two, there's a couple that keeps popping up. What's the veil of a set? What's this ten of wands? Mm. I'm seeing the ten of unks, y'all. Or the eight of unks, excuse me. And the star card, Aquarius again. So it's almost like someone got totally burdened with this Ten of Wands that they decided that they had to move forward in this Aquarius energy. Somebody was tired of feeling like they were in an illusion is what I'm hearing. Someone chose self-love because if you take um, the Ace of Cups from the Eight, which is a Ace of Onks from the Eight of Onks, that would leave you with, you know, self-love and... You know, just continuing to heal. Go through this healing. Because the star card also is healing. Mm. There's some gift that's about to come. Someone is going to give someone something. Or maybe you feel like you need to give someone something. Yeah. Some type of finances is about to come in. I don't know. Somebody, I just heard an award letter. So maybe somebody applied for a loan. Okay. You might be getting that soon. Bass, the guardian. So Bass is protecting you at this time. Even though you might be carrying a lot of things, a lot of burdens. Yeah. See. But keep having the confidence because... That confidence is going to push you forward again. The Queen of Unks, what I say, she holds the Ace of Unks in her hand. So this love of self. There's new things that are coming, new beginnings and money and even in emotions. This was all fated to happen. The will came out twice. Yeah, the Two of Swords was underneath that. So let's keep going. Let's get the judgment card. Because the Two of Swords the last card we got right there. What's this judgment? Ooh, Six of Scarabs showed up again. The King of Unks. Oh my gosh, I'll see that under Judgment. So the Judgment card is clarified. The King of Unks, the Judgment. And then we have the Scribe of Swords, the Eight of Unks, and the Ten of Swords. Whoa. These two were separate, but I feel like this is because something is going on behind the scenes because it's kind of landed over by the moon. What I feel is that this King of Unks, which is the counterpart to the Queen of Unks, is going through judgment right now. So this person is receiving karma, possibly for something, you know, that they did. But I don't know if this person did anything wrong. Because the Six of Scarabs can mean gifting someone, but it also can mean like maybe somebody was given to multiple things. But somebody got, somebody peeped it. Somebody seen it. The scribe of swords. So I don't know if the queen of swords sent someone out 
to find information or if this person themselves did that. If this Queen of Swords energy did that. But that's caused a situation where now someone wants to move away. And with this Ten of Swords, they're ending it. So they no longer want to be a part of this anymore. So I don't know who this queen, King of Cups was. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But somebody, yeah, they want to communicate because they feel stuck. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Yeah. Moon card right there. Okay, let's keep going. What's the seven of this? Nine of Unks. Okay. And then the Warrior of Unks in reverse and Tahuti in reverse. Hmm. So I'm feeling like somebody invested in the situation, spent time, energy, and effort because they felt like something was a wish fulfillment. Not sure exactly what this wish fulfillment was or what this was, but it ended up being a trick. Yeah. It ended up being a trick with the devil right here. Something that kept them burdened. Something that kept them tied down. They felt in prison. They felt stuck to something. Maybe when it came to their passions. But now it's almost like with the warrior of unks in reverse. Whoever this water sign is. If it's not a water sign. I feel like it is. This person is not interested in being connected or committed to something anymore. So... It's like they have decided to remove themselves, even if they're if it's not like a marriage, it could be like a religion because Tahuti is connected to religion, connected to law, connects to a lot of different things when it comes to like governmental structures and stuff like that. So I don't know if this person has decided they don't want to be a part of that because they see victory somewhere else with the six of wands. Yeah, they close the cycle out. The world. Oh, so the reason why this Pisces, because we got the high priest, or it could be a cancer, like a set of water sign. Uh, the reason why they closed out this cycle is because their intuition told them to hold back. Their intuition told them that it was not time for them to continue to keep on giving to a situation. I, I almost, y'all, yeah, I'm going to have to watch this video again because I don't even know where, where we at with this right now. But I'm reading what the cards say. And it's saying that somebody is either saving some money or saving time, energy, and effort in efforts to go through this um, celebration. Closing out a cycle, yeah. Fighting for what they believe in. Cancer, Chariot, Empress Energy, Ten of Unks. Could be a mother. Or a Libra. What's the moon card? Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. They like we're gonna come out anyway. The ace of swords. All these cards, y'all. This card fell on the floor. The scribe of Unks. So secretly somebody, I feel like somebody knows that they need to apologize, but they're like secretly hiding that because they don't want to feel dumb or they don't want to look crazy. The two of swords and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Yeah, whoever this person is, that's not getting the will in their f favor. So this is the other party outside of who's actually getting some type of fortune. The Whoever rejected them. Like, I mean, the person that did the rejection, the person they rejected is not doing well financially or their life is like in shambles right now because the will of fortune in reverse is bad karma. 22, Bass, the guardian. Somebody just went through a portal. Somebody went through a portal. They have decided they want to stand guarded. They want, they're going to stand firm. They don't see this as a wish. Look at that. They don't want to be stuck. They don't want their passions to be disturbed. They don't want to have to carry heavy burdens or feel like they need to take care of things that's not theirs. They see that this is not balanced. It causes this person to feel like they can't think logically. 
or this person feels like it puts them in a place where they get angry and frustrated because this is the queen of swords it's the same and then with this five of onks no, somebody doesn't want to live in a fear of regret so this is all going on behind the scenes maybe maybe hasn't been spoken but that's the clarity what's this will I just seen some cars in here, y'all. Hold on. Oh. Thought it was another card. Oh yeah, here it is. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Seven of Scarabs. So this is going back to the seven of disenergy. Why somebody decided to end a, a contract with somebody or end a religion, not believing or going to maybe somebody decided they ain't going to church no more. Or they're not going to whatever organization it, it was that they once attended because they see the sneakery seven of swords. Now this person knows that it's better for them to take the truth, rest and heal go through a place of uh, restoration and that's how they keep themselves in this positive manifesting energy it was a burden whoever this whoever this was i was dealing with this because the ten of wands was the first card that showed up here pretty much what's this queen of swords <clears throat> Yes, the enlightened one. That might be the name of the title. The enlightened one is what I just heard. This could be this Empress energy. But with the scribe of scarabs and the Queen of Unks coming on this Queen of Swords energy, somebody is going to be very um, surprised or shocked about this. There's something that's coming in. I don't know exactly what this this offer is us coming in to this queen of unks but it's gonna bring some happiness and yeah see the six of scepters some celebration back to the six of wands keep holding back whoever this queen of swords is because somebody is testing you or somebody is trying to get you out of your out of your flow is what i'm feeling yeah what's this two of swords let's really need to look at next Ten of Unks. All right. So, ooh, the King of Scepters and the Two of Scarabs. King of Scepters is a mate to the Queen of Scepters. So, I feel like this King of Scepters behind the scenes is going through like this juggling of like trying to decide what type of offer. Maybe that's what this, the surprise is going to be. I feel like somebody is going to try to either propose to this queen of unks queen of scepters queen of swords empress energy and it's gonna make complete make this person happy but they're still trying to figure out how they want to do it i feel like this is an emperor this king of scepters could be a fire sign but yeah here goes that neptune energy right yep it is emperor look at that <laughs> they want to come together with this nine of scarabs empress energy beautiful I feel like it's going to be a happy thing. This is a dream come true. Somebody manifested this and they're, they've they been, you know, maybe speaking to water too or going to the water, going out into the ocean or some body of water. Somebody is like manifesting by and it's working. So that's what I got for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell so these messages can vibrate out. Until next time, talk to y'all later. Deuces.